Uh, get it again. Um, if you watch one of my previous videos, I recently just got my first uh, kind of kind of like proper gravel bike kind of thing. I've mucked around with uh, mountain bikes and stuff in the past, but not never with a, a bike kind of like this. Uh, this is this is Oz Cycles channel. He the, the latest video he's got there um, had a waxer chain. Um, I'm not going to go to that extent. I'm going to do it. And he's got another video further back on how he makes just a, a drip train chain lube. Um, I'm not into it as much as he is by the looks of things. He's kind of like a professional cyclist. So, but I'm I will take a few of his um, a few of his uh, what's the name things that he's done, uh, especially with his, in relation to his chain lube, because I went to buy some the other day. That's the stuff I bought there. And uh, I think it's called Squirt Chain Lube. Uh, I think there's another picture coming up soon. And uh, yeah, 20 bucks it was. And it's it's not a lot in the container. There's not a lot in it. Not a lot in it. Um, so wanted to see what everyone else was doing. And this guy's pretty much making this exact thing. So um, I thought I'd give it a bash. Um, for the price of that, that was twenty bucks. For I can't even remember how many, how many mils it was, but yeah, maybe a hundred mils or something like that. Um, it was yeah twenty dollars. I can make almost a well, I can make a liter for well under that. Um, the MSDS shows uh, doesn't tell you the exact ingredients, but it does down the bottom right in the last little bit mention paraffin wax. So that's what I ended up buying was um, paraffin wax. Um, I'm just seeing on the photos if I can. No, it doesn't even tell you how much is in it. Um, it must have been around the corner from one of the photos, so I can't even see. Um, yeah, so uh, I went to Big W, bought that big sauce bottle. That's a litre. Uh, the Shell Light from Bunnings is a litre as well, so you almost get all of it into there. Um, and I bought those candles from Big W. They were six dollars, and there's eight of them. And I didn't even use one candle to do what I needed to do to fill up one bottle. So the bottle was three dollars. Uh, the candle works out to less than a dollar because you use it's six dollars for eight, and the shell light's twelve bucks. So you twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen odd dollars all up for it to make a liter. That is. Yeah, and then you've got an. If you want to make another liter, you've only got to buy the twelve dollar shell light and use one more candle. So it's like thirteen dollar. Once you've got everything, it's thirteen dollars a liter, uh, which is not too bad. That's going to last 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 a while. Uh, there's a close up of the shell light. I've never used it, never heard of it before, but the guy recommends buying it. So um, I'm using that as the as the carrier, as he calls it, um, to carry the paraffin wax onto the chain. Uh, it's used as a bit of a fuel, so. Um, yeah, I didn't didn't know that uh, for stoves and stuff like that. But you can use it to like a wax and grease remover and stuff like that. So if you watched the previous video when I did those cupboards, um, cupboard uh, hinge alterations, I bought that saw. It's a, like a flexible saw. I started using that. Actually, I started using a planer, like a little mini planer. But after about three goes, it gets uh, gunked up. So uh, you can't use it anymore. But um, so then I switched to that saw. That was doing not a bad job. But if you slip, you're gonna catch your thumb. I did it a few times there. So then I flicked over to a just a metal ruler, and that actually did the best job. So sort of, almost like a pencil sharpener. So um, yeah, that was working pretty well. So I just kept going with that. Only took about five minutes. Um, stripped the candle. Uh, no dramas. Uh, I then went on, I modified the bottle lid a little bit because the, the nozzle that's there is for tomato sauce. Obviously, it's too too big for um, too big to for that chain lube to uh, come out. You're going to, you, you know, too much will come out. So I just put a little um, dripper kind of tube on there. Uh, that line, so he, he was saying one third of the bottle to be um, paraffin wax and then two thirds uh, shallot to fill it up so that's what I did so that first picture there is I put more in and then you shake it and compa it compacts and that's what you ended up with so I'm a little bit over but yeah that's that should be fine uh, then I filled it up with the shellite uh, it all kind of settles to the bottom so you, I think he said you got to keep mixing it a little bit and then you know every couple of hours go turn it over give it a mix and it should take overnight and then it should all just dissolve into the mixture uh, that's how much um, candle I had left, 
So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's 60 odd or 80 cents, I think it works out for a candle, and I still had a bit left over to use in the next one. You just got to be careful, you don't want any of that wax, uh, the, you don't want any of the wick going in, so just be careful you don't start chopping that up and start putting string into it, into the mix. And that's how much um, of the shallot I had left over, so not too bad. Um, I'll probably, if I, if I use a bit of that, I'll probably just tip the rest of that in and, and shave the rest of that candle and put it in. And then you don't have that hanging around, you've just got that one bottle. And then back off to Bunnings to buy a, um, another litre of that and you've got everything else at home to make it. So I'm, I'm going to do that from now on. I'm waiting on a, um, on a clamp to put onto the roof of my veranda out the front of my shed. So that way I can hang the bike from it and work on it. I just, uh, my, with my back's a bit crooked, so I can't work on it while it's on the floor upside down or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so I'm waiting for that. When that happens, then I'll give the train a really good degrease, get everything off it that the shop put on it. And, um, and then I'll, so get it all back to bare nothing on. And then I'll, um, I'll put this stuff on. So, um, yeah, interesting to see how it goes. Um, I'll keep you updated anyway. Um, don't really know. I mean, if you want to watch more on the testing and stuff, probably watch the guy over there at Oz Cycle. He's done seven, eight years of testing, he reckons. So, you know, he's he's got chains lasting 14,000 kilometres when normally they only last about 1,500 to 2,000. So um, he's, he's doing something right, so I thought I'd give him a copy. So, yeah, hit up his videos and he goes into way more depth um, and the proper way of actually taking your chain off and um, putting it in a um, hot bucket of this solution and sinking it right in. I'm not going to go to that extent. I'm just going to drip it in as it is on the bike. But yeah, give that give his uh, channel a watch for sure and he, he goes right into it and you'll, you'll be, be, be a bit more clued up on it than I am. Cheers for watching and we'll see you next time.